Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to do the unboxing of this motherboard. This is a Z77 based chipset motherboard from Asus and the model number is P8 Z77V Deluxe. This is the Deluxe model and I want to thank Asus India for sending this unit for testing. And as this motherboard is based on the Z77 chipset, it's supposed to PCI 3 uh, version 3. But you have to make sure that to take advantage of this, uh, the processor needs to be Ivy Bridge but and not the Sandy Bridge processor. The price of this motherboard in India is about uh, 20,500 rupees. As this is a deluxe board, uh, it supports a lot of features. Let's see what's given on the box. As I said earlier, it's based on the uh, Z77 chipset and it supports Intel core processors uh, based on the LGA1155 socket. So Sandy Bridge processors will also work with this. And of course, the new Ivy Bridge processors will also work. And again, as it says here, it's supposed to 22 nanometer and the 32 nanometer CPUs, 22 nanometer is Ivy Bridge and 32 nanometer is the Sandy Bridge processors. And it says it's Windows 7 ready and it has uh, DTS support. And also here it says it has virtue support and as expected, it supports SLI and AMD Crossfire. And let me just open up the box now. Uh, the first we have the motherboard. I'll just put it to the side for now. I'll come back to it a bit later. And we have a driver CD. We have the IO shield. Couple of SATA cables, actually two. And some more SATA cables. Uh, these are at right angle. And Again, two more, so total of uh, four SATA cables that we get. And actually we get two more SATA cables, uh, so total of six actually. And this is a Wi-Fi Go card, if you can see. And this card will give the Wi-Fi and even the Bluetooth functionality to this motherboard. And some instructions, how to install this uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module on the motherboard. Let me put it back and uh, actually we get a S SLI bridge if you're use, going to use SLI and we get actually two antennas. These will connect to this uh, Wi-Fi Go card that we have. So we get two of these. I'm not very sure what are these headers for. Talk about it later and we get an in-depth manual. It, the manual is actually pretty comprehensive and you get to know all the features of the motherboard. Uh, let me bring the motherboard actually. Let me keep all these things back for now. And this is the motherboard. Let me just take it out. And uh, we get four RAM slots. I believe this motherboard can take memory uh, up to 32 GB, that's the maximum. And it can even support overclocked memory up to 2600 megahertz, if I'm not wrong. And uh, again, a lot of heat sinks over here and uh, the LGA115 socket. And let us look at the back panel. Uh, over here, we have four USB 2 slots and these are two USB 3 slots and two, I believe these are eSATA slots. And actually we have quite a few uh, USB 3 slots. Actually we total we have a total of six USB uh, 3 slots. And Asus has the proprietary stuff called Turbo USB, which e is even faster than the standard USB. And uh, we have one optical out for audio. And this is the HDMI out. And we also have a display port out. Uh, sadly, uh, this motherboard is not having, uh, what do you say, DVI out. So uh, if you're, monitor has a DVR out you need to use an adapter and we have not one but two gigabit ethernet ports and one of them is the superior intel one and we have six audio out for analog audio and we also have this unique bios quick bios feature uh, using which you can quickly just uh, load the bios on the usb stick i believe and even if the cpu is also not there just restore the bios and moving over here, we have plenty of PCIe Express slots. Uh, the we actually have three PCIe slots. And the first two one are PCIe 3 and 2 compatible and that can run in 16x and 8x. And the black one is just PCIe 2 and can run at 16x. And actually we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 PCIe 1x slots. 
So plenty of expandability with this motherboard. And as you can see, we have uh, nice heat sinks over the actual chipsets. So that's pretty nice. So if you're going, do, going to do overclocking, etc., uh, this motherboard should uh, stay relatively cool because of the efficient heat sinks. And as this is a deluxe port, we directly have this uh, power on off and reset button over here. And we also have this EPU switch. And this is great for enthusiasts or people who keep an open system and play around. It's much easier. And we also have a dedicated button here to clear the CMOS setup. And USB headers over here. And we also have a small LED display here. Again, this is beneficial for people who like to play around with the system and overclockers. So if anything is wrong with the motherboard, you get a, a display like 0, uh, 0203 some code. You can look up in the motherboard and figure out very easily what is the error on the board. And moving to this side, here we have the SATA slots. Actually, we have eight SATA slots out of which the four light blue ones are the SATA 2 ports and the white one, the two white ones are the native Intel SATA 3 ports and the dark blue one are also SATA 3 but based on the Marvel controller. And one more thing I wanted to talk about is as you notice there is an ample amount of space between the RAM sticks and the actual CPU socket and this will be helpful if you're going to install aftermarket air coolers and I highly recommend that uh, if you're going to use a chip like i7 or even i5 and if you're going to do overclocking. Generally in some other boards I find that these memory slots are, are very close to the CPU and if you install aftermarket coolers generally you cannot put RAM on the first slot but it looks like we have ample space on this motherboard. So that's it for now for this quick unboxing of this Asus P8Z77V Deluxe motherboard. I'll also be installing a CPU on this motherboard so that I can show you the advanced BIOS features available on this motherboard. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.